So this is called the impossible Rubik's cube. And you might think, oh, it looks like a regular Rubik's cube. That's the white side, that's the red side. But you might have already noticed that it only looks those colors from a certain angle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you know how impossible this is to solve? It is very difficult. In fact, even though I consider this solved right now because there are angles that I can look at this and see the same color on each side like that. My son pointed out that the ridges on this one are not matching. So the way that this works is that there's really small ridges that allow you to alternate colors based on how it's tilted. And this one right here, while I can get it to look orange like that, it's not exactly in the right spot. And yet this thing is so impossible to solve, I'm considering this solved. <laughs> It's very difficult to get everything in the right spot because when you move things, things t tend to change color on you. But if you like Rubik's cubes and you want a challenge, this is definitely very challenging. It is officially Rubik's brand, so it operates just like a regular Rubik's cube in terms of how it moves around. If you've had Rubik's cubes in the past, you'll know how it works. If you know how to solve a Rubik's cube, of course, the algorithms are the same. It's just a matter of trying to figure out which piece is actually which piece. <laughs> and I don't wanna give the secret away to you because it changes colors like this, it is very, very difficult. So I do consider this solved, even though it technically might be solved a little bit better. The very fact that I can kind of hold it in such a way so that the whole side looks the same color, I consider that to be solved. <laughs> One thing that does make it a little bit easier is that the centers actually don't change color. So the centers are always the same in relation to each other which that's helpful. So then it's just a matter of trying to figure out which piece is which and putting them all in the right spot. <laughs> but it's definitely a fun variation of the Rubik's Cube. And if you like Rubik's Cubes, I definitely recommend it. There's a link in the description. If you order through that, I get a small commission. I would greatly appreciate it.